Greetings everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we're going to explore a crucial skill for web creators and website owners, and that is adding HTML code or embed codes to your website. Whether you want to embed a YouTube video, a custom form, or any other external content, I'll show you how it's done and you, we've got you covered. But before we jump right into it, if you are new here or haven't subscribed yet, now is the perfect time to hit that subscribe button below and do not forget to ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our latest content. And to our returning viewers and subscribers, you are the heart and soul of our channel and we are grateful for your continued support. Before you, you add your HTML code or embed codes, you might want to go to the web browser of your choice. I'm using Google Chrome right now. Bowix.com is compatible to all known type of browsers, be it Brave, Safari, Microsoft Edge, Firefox. So once you are in Wix.com, sign up, create an account. It's fast and easy. And once you've successfully created your account, log in using your credentials. And you will be hover down here to your dashboard. You might want to go to dashboard. Okay. So once you are on the dashboard, you might want to go here at the settings. Right here. Okay. Go here. Uh, you should probably go here, okay, to the Wix, to the your Wix website editor. Add elements, right? And you will see uh this part right here says embed code, okay. So you have the option to embed HTML, embed a site, custom element, all right. You have a lot of uh options here. So why not we cover all of them one by one, okay? First is embed HTML. So here, you can custom add your website, say, um, adding website, right? Okay, update. And then we hover again here and add elements and embed a site. Okay, so let's say um, this one. Okay, just say for the sake of the video. What about just, you know, what about Wix.com? Oh, come on. But how about we add another custom element? All right. Now, adding all of these can provide several advantages, allowing you to enhance your website's um, functionality, interactivity, and user experience, right? As you can see, it's a little easy. You can embed multimedia elements like videos, audio, and interactive graphics into your web pages, making your content more engaging and appealing to a lot of visitors, right? And embedding code can enable interactive features like quizzes, surveys, games, and allowing you to engage your audience and collect valuable data. You can easily share content from other websites as well, such as news articles, blog posts, or social media feeds on your site providing valuable information to your visitor. And if you have a website with advertising space, you can monetize your site by embedding ad codes, affiliate marketing banners, or sponsored content. Embedding social uh, sharing bonds and related content from other reputable sources can enhance your website's SEO by encouraging social sharing and improving the user's experience, okay? And properly embedded code is often designed to be responsive and compatible with different devices and browsers, ensuring your website functions well across various platforms. How easy is that, right? Matter of fact, um, you can also um, 
integrate code, you can add features like online booking systems, payment gateways, and chatbots to enhance your website's capabilities because Google Analytics or other web analytics tools will monitor user behavior and gain insights to your website's performance. And by that, they survey to gather uh, user data, feedback, or contact information, allowing you to better understand your audience and improve your overall services. While the advantages of adding HTML code or embed codes are significant, it's essential to be mindful of potential drawbacks such as security risks and compatibility issues. Always use trusted sources and maintain best practices to ensure a safe and functional website. Once again, if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe for more useful tutorials. And if you have any questions or topics that you would like us to cover in future videos, please leave a comment below. I read all of them. And thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video.